Are you a real estate investor that's currently or in the past has had any concerns with tenants, whether it's anything from payments, maintenance, or anything outside of that as well? This video is gonna be perfect for you. After watching this video, you're gonna learn about personally how we've gone about managing our portfolio and what you can do to not only take care of your properties, but also help you scale and get more time back into doing the things that you want to do with your family. It's all gonna begin right after this. Hi everyone, Josh Tavares, investor realtor with the XP Realty Brokerage. We know it's so nice if you can help us out. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, get updates on our newly uploaded content. And if you guys want access to wonderful, great cash flowing rental properties with great cash flow appreciation, low price point, hands off, then guess what? Click the link below, let's book a call and let's partner together. And without further ado, let's begin. As a real estate investor, at some point during your journey, you're going to go through some sort of concerns with your property, whether it's going to be tenant concerns, maintenance. So in today's video, I'm gonna focus more on any tenant concerns and what you can do to take care of any issues you have with your tenants, as well as to get more time back into your life. Now, as an investor, we didn't make the trade off to wanna have less time while growing our wealth. We wanna be able to grow our wealth while having more time to do the things that we personally wanna do. Now, with having any tenant concerns, personally for us, the question I have is, why not have a property management company? And for some people, they may say, well, with property management company, I'm not sure if I can totally trust what they're doing. I'm not able to see the type of work the contractors are doing and so on and so forth. I don't know, it's just, I don't know if everything is done correctly. Now, I will say by having a property management company, you're being able to reduce a lot of time that you would use towards dealing with any concerns with the tenants, the properties, and so on and so forth for eight to 10% of rents. Now, personally for us, this has been a fantastic win, not only for cash flow, appreciation, equity, and all that great stuff that we receive through real estate investing, but time in our own lives. We've probably saved hours every single week by just having property managers that we can use to spend for our time, work on other projects, and anything as such to help better our lifestyle or anything that we personally want to do with us and our family. One of the first things I highly recommend is that whenever you're investing into a certain area or whatnot, you want to have an idea of the landlord tenant board rules. You want to know everything in terms of, you know, how to go about evicting tenants, what paperwork, at what time, the legislation process. You need to know your duties and responsibilities, you need to know the tenants rules and responsibilities. And you also want to have a really good idea in terms of, you know, any strategies that you can go about putting in place that puts you in the best position possible. Now, one of our mentors told us that whenever you're going to the property, never say you're the owner. They're going to give you a lot more problems and they know you directly. So you don't want to be the face. Even whenever you go on site to the property, they're going to know exactly who you are. You just want to say that you're part of a property manager, whether you're a contractor, you're part of collecting rents, department, accounts, whatever. You want to say, hey, you know, I came here from property management to provide this paperwork to let you know that you didn't pay on time and that, you know, the next step, if this happens again, will be legislation suit through da 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 da. So saying that you're part of property management, they're more likely to empathize with you and say, hey, I'm just an employee working here. I'm just doing my job, man. I just wanna help you get through this. I'm just here to do a job. You know, I have no problems with you. I'm just here to do what I have to do to fulfill my end of my own career here. So that way they're gonna say, oh, you know, he's just an employee. He clearly has no issues with me. So the tenants are more likely to not give you any slack and give you any issues than if you were the owner. They're going to know exactly who you are when you come on site and give you probably a lot more problems than had it been someone who works for the property management company. Also, you need to do your research and find the right property management company. Personally for us, we don't deal with any tenant concerns. We have property management companies that know everything there is to know. We go about vetting these property management companies. We ask them all the different questions from, you know, not only how much does it cost and maintenance concerns and the type of team they have and the contractors they have, but we also ask, in this type of circumstance, what do you do? In the event that tenants don't pay on time, what do you do? In what order? right in the event that there's a you know an issue between tenants on site between the upstairs unit downstairs unit what do you do in that circumstance right in the event that we have to go you know legally to the court um, and have to deal with any tenants concerns you know we're at that point now that it's in the judge's hands what do you guys do what do you say how do you represent your you know the landlords on that end or the property owners what is it that you're going to do so you need to ask them all of these questions so you can mitigate any issues and have the right property management company. Because I will say, 
there are individuals who will run a property management business out of their own garage versus other companies that have an actual space with 10, 15, 20, 30 staff who run a proper business that is ethical instead of something that's you know cutting corners to generate some income out of their own garage that uh, let's just say it's probably not the best for anyone invested into those companies. Now, another big aspect is communication and knowing the right forms of communication. Now with us, we set the standard with our property management company. We're big on email because it keeps everyone accountability, keeps everything in writing and lets everyone know, uh, you know where everything lies, where if it's over the phone, you know what I mean? That could essentially be something that's muddied you know, over the phone versus writing because writing is of course in place and it's a lot harder to go against. However, in the event that something does happen that's very immediate, we have advised our property management team to call us right away. If there's a, you know, some sort of a violent dispute between tenants, if there's some sort of a water leak or there's, uh, you know, I don't know, something had caved in, let's say a window got smashed into or anything, we need to be notified immediately. So first they can call us, let, know, let us know if it's something like, immediate danger immediate emergency to call us and of course keep everything writing via email so everything uh, is as needed and with working with property management is fantastic because you're gonna be working with individuals who know how to vet out tenants you don't want to work with you know finding tenants yourself where you know you can however that can be a lot more issues and, and if you're not able to know how to properly vet people you could have professional renters who know how to fake resumes and cover letters and employment letters and all that stuff to get into your property, not pay on time, not pay at all. And then it'll take six months to a year to evict them from your property where you're working with property management companies who have software and resources that they know not only physically on how to determine if someone's the right fit, but they'll know based on their credit score, their application and their profile that, hey, this person is, is a go, they're the green light, they're perfect, they've got this much income, they've got this career, they've got this much debt, they've got this much in their savings, they've, they work for this employer, they are the complete package, I would go with the, this individual, or we can continue to proceed to wait for the next candidates for your property. By taking this on yourself, you're putting yourself in a very vulnerable situation where if not done correctly, you could end up having tenants coming into your property who could take months of you know, not paying for rent and cause tons of maintenance concerns and take a very, very long time. Like there, we've, there's been stories in the news media where we have actual like paralegals and lawyers who actually go about doing this because they know they can, they don't pay any rent, they make money in their workplace, they don't pay any rent, they don't pay on time or ever, and they know when they can go about doing this and then they'll just evacuate the property when, when things are about to get, you know, uh, a little more uncomfortable in their situation in the event that you know a sheriff comes on site and has gone to that point but many different times these individuals know that it won't get there because they know their process is to mitigate and help themselves and we'll call them loopholes um, to essentially avoid ever having those circumstances take place and another thing with having these individuals on your team like property management is the ability to have you know contractors that have been vetted by property manager they'll take care of your property because in the event something happens in a wear and tear on the property you need to have someone who's able to, you know, fix that concern and have a great individual who'll be able to help out at a great price point. Because if you go about doing yourself and looking for contractors, you might end up, end up finding someone who doesn't do a very good job, who overcharges, and you know, it's just, it's not really good for anybody. And also it's important to invest into these areas that don't have a lot of crimes, that have good economic fundamentals, have a lot of jobs, employers coming in on site, uh, people taking care of their properties on the road. You can see they're cutting their grass, they're maintaining their property, they're even causing renovations and showing care for the, the, the property in the neighborhood because those are the areas you wanna get into. Those are the B neighborhoods, right? The areas where you're gonna get a good amount of renters, you're gonna have some homeowners living in the community. However, everyone's caring for the property so it's going to increase the curb appeal which increases the value where perhaps in the c neighborhood you're going to have areas where tenants aren't going to care there's not going to be a lot of homeowners it's going to be a neighborhood that properties are not taken care of it's going to be really disastrous and it's not going to be a good investment for yourself because your property's going to have a high maintenance it's going to have really high turnover and it's going to be really difficult to find really good tenants to stay for a long time now depending on where you're investing it could take upwards to a year to have a tenant invested in which when we're investing in Detroit, the landlord tenant board rules are more favorable towards landlords than tenants compared to Ontario, where in a couple of months, you'll be able to have someone removed the ethical way 
uh, and for any tenants who have any issues with maintenance or let's say issues with their tenants or paying rent on time in full. So that's something that you want to know. You want to know areas that of course makes the most sense for your investment, the best bang for your buck, get you the best ROI. However, you also need to go in areas that ideally are going to be more beneficial for landlords are able to remove bad tenants in a quick time frame. Here in Ontario, it is very liberal and, and at times can cause a lot of concerns for landlords because it can take you over a year to remove a tenant and that's a lot of income loss. That could be over 30 to 40,000 in income loss, not including that much and even more on maintenance. So you could have actually spent over that time frame, over seventy to eighty thousand dollars from maintenance wear and tear, alongside with missed rents, and sometimes the courts in Ontario are not going to favor you so much. They may extend longer for tenants, and uh, you know you may not receive any payout at all, and that's just a massive loss and a very vulnerable situation that no investor should be in. And like I said earlier, it's really important to know the landlord tenant board rules where you're investing because. Let's say even if you're taking on the property management duties, if it's not done correctly, you could be in very serious situation in terms of financially um, and even legally uh, by not making the right moves and, and uh, you know, not taking care of everything from a legal perspective, not having the right documentation that's filed on time to the courts as well as to your tenants. And that could be a big hindrance that, you know, could really turn off uh, investing for yourself. That's why ever since we've used property management on our properties, we've always had a pleasant experience. We always get great tenants for top dollar that, that have very little wear and tear on our property, paying full on time every single month. And we're always given a pleasant experience with those tenants. And the markets that we're getting into doesn't take very long to fill our properties because there's such a high demand and a very low supply that once one of our units become vacant, whether it's in Canada or in the US, we're able to find tenants super quick. As an investor, when dealing with tenants, whether you have property manager or not, you wanna be able to look at different perspectives, even from a side of humanity as well because everyone is going to have a different circumstance. Now, for some people, they may be going through some domestic issues. They may be going through some drug issues or any type of issues in the workplace um, and other areas in their life, even with family, you know, any grievances or loss that could really hinder certain aspects, you know, certain things like example, someone loses a job. Um, it's going to be a bit difficult to receive rent from them right away. So of course, some forms of humanity, you know, being able to say we can work out something. Maybe you wait a couple of weeks, you give them an extension a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months. Um, something that's reasonable to both parties that A, you're not too vulnerable in terms of a financial standpoint, and B, you're given the ability to kind of um, give them a rest period that they don't have to stress so much about having the ability to, to you know, to do so. Or even as such, if you have really good tenants who accidentally, you know, uh, cause a big maintenance concern on your property. Like maybe they cause a big damage to your garage and they've been really good tenants and they're really, really sorry. And you know, even if you have video footage to show there was an actual accident and maybe they are going through some tough times, you could always make a range and say, you know what? I completely understand that it was an accident. I could see the footage I heard from, from fellow, uh, you know, people living in the area that it actually was an accident. How about this? We'll go half. Instead of you having to pay the full, let's say $10,000 for damages, I can go half, you can go half. You've been a great tenant. I understand your circumstance. It's a little bit rough right now. Um, let's work together because I understand this is a difficult time. And uh, it just gives humanity and really helps with having tenants. You know what I mean? Because we're very, Tharmal and I are really big on karma. And, and if you're not going to be a good person, then that's going to affect in other areas of your life. But you also, at the same time, need to protect your business and your time because you don't want to be played a fool by individuals who, you know, are just going to cause issues that are very unnecessary, right? So you want to err on the side of humanity, but also the side at the same time too, um, having that right balance between humanity as well as business focus as well. As many of us investors know, uh, the pandemic had a lot of financial concerns for a lot of people. Overnight jobs were stopped and a lot of people no longer had jobs and no longer had income. And for some people, it took a while before some of these, uh, you know, financial resources from the governments came on and helped individuals out. So during this time, this is the time where for investors who were able to sustainably kind of continue their lifestyle, this was the time that they can just go about and say, you know what, we can live. Things are okay. We've got reserve funds. We'll let these tenants off this month um, or maybe the next month. However, we also, you know, have a time frame in place that after this time frame, we need to go back to the tents and say, what can we do to change things? Like we now need to go about 
enforcing rules because we now need to receive our income, things need to be paid, um, and everything as such because you know we can't be too giving and then put ourselves in a hindering spot. So it's all about having that nice working balance. I hope this video was super helpful, insightful, and gives you everything you need to know in terms of the best way to go about dealing with tenant concerns, payment, maintenance, and property management, and, and anything as such. I'm Josh Tavares, realtor and investor with DXP Realty. And remember, if you're looking for great cash flow in rental properties, great cash flow, appreciation, low price point, hands off, you want to partner with us, click the link below. Let's book an appointment and let's get you guys on your way. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care.